G'day everyone, this is Galaxy here. We're doing something different this weekend. I'm actually doing some fishing for Native Fish Australia. It's an organisation who looks after Murray Cod and Macquarie Perch and things like that. Just slightly different to Galaxy on Trail stuff, but um, here we are. Fish. Is it? Yeah, it's a good fish. Bloody nice skinny water. It's like what, three or four foot deep. Right. Yeah, it's a nice fish. Murray, yeah. Whee! Uh, how good's that? Fish. 15 minutes in, maybe not even. Gotcha. Beautiful. Well done, mate. There we go. First fish for the weekend. Ripper. Beautiful cod. Nice and healthy, aren't they? Yeah, it's a really nice fish. Look at those colours. Bloody awesome. See you, mate. See you, Thanks buddy. for the good times. Mm -hmm. There you go. Looking awesome. Righty-o. Forty. Beautiful little cod hole up here. Bump. Just came up that little bit of rapid there, a bit of portage, and we're cruising up, getting into prime time. What water. It's time for me to switch to the pompadour. <laughs> <laughs> yes, you played this game very well. Today. Yeah. He, um, I felt like I had him. I don't know what yeah, it yeah, you hooked up, and then... <laughs> this one, I had three out of three last time on this, this exact water. Right, yeah, okay. I think that double jointed where it hangs down a bit usually does the trick. Dangles down a bit for him. Let's yeah. see if he's still awake. Yeah, go get back in there. <laughs> Gutted! Oh, awesome hurt. Yeah, that was good. Gotta love a surface hit. Mate, that was like someone throwing a bucket of water at you, Lewis. I'm gonna go the little slightly purple number. Gee, I really love a surface hit. Alright, Marcus is on. Oh, that's a nice fish. Oh, beautiful. That's a beauty. Oh, nice fish. That's a beautiful trout. Beautiful trout. Bro. I might not need the lippy, so I've got to. No, I think you're pretty right there. How yeah, good. Oh, cracker. I love these things. Amazing. See you later, mate. <laughs> That's wicked. Something about that surface hit for me. It oh, does it. It's amazing. So nice. Oh, yeah, it's bloody amazing. Oh yeah! Oh, yes! Yeah. Has he done me? He's down there somewhere. He's, oh, we've got that on the video at least. Like oh, I can see my lure. No, he's gone. Oh, nice work. That's a nice fish. Just so good. Oh, mate, they're on fire. That's another trout, is it? Trout no, fish. Murray. Murray. These pies are good. Look at that straight yeah, out. Straight See out. you later, mate. Thanks Beautiful. for the good time. <laughs> <laughs> Amazing. I'm gonna to have to go into the fucking power. I'm right for you. <laughs> go. You're good. What a morning, it's just incredible out here.
Yeah, this was fine. Oh, I got that on video. Oh, it's a good fish. You got him? Yeah, got him. And I was recording. Oh, yeah. On the board, hopefully. <laughs> like he's only just. Right, Stuck in the boat yet. He's off. Oh my god. Have a look. Oh shit, that doesn't look so good. Part of kayaking is trying to figure out whether you can make a rapid or not, and I think that's probably a no go one. Now. I'm jumping out, yep. Good choice not to run those rapids. some coffee Pop coffee and popcorn all right well that was first fish on the board this morning it was a nice cod took it on the drop we have dropped so many fish we've well I've had a I had one other hit this morning you've had like three other hits this morning I had one that was so hot to try it hit it near the snag and then book it next to the boat again yeah, <laughs> yeah. What happens when you uh, try and float a rapid that looks a little bit bigger than you think and then uh, you just end up getting wet and have to end up tipping water out of your canoe. Fish are playing hard to get today. Lucky we got plenty of river to go. canoe launching site ever <laughs> you're allowed to stand in the water though because you're going to be in there soon yeah you don't want to get that plastic wet though Ooh. so what was it about two and a half three meter drop down there oh at least well he's he's like over six foot and that's yeah so it's a probably two or three times that can't really see anything but they're floating down the river very potty looking water. Oh! 
Oh, are you kidding me? <laughs> Very sketchy entry into this section of river, but it looks amazing. A little bit rainy, a little bit overcast, perfect for surface lures. Yeah, watch that log on the right, or left, sorry. Might be better off. Paddle, 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 paddle. Power, power. There you go, straight down the line. There we go. <laughs> You're supposed to fall out then, have you on the video? Yeah. Oh, no. Oh, oh, paddle hard, straight yourself. There you go. There you go. Paddle, paddle hard, paddle keep paddle, hard. paddle, 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 both of them. Go, 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 power. Phew! Nice one. <laughs> hey. He's coming through. Got it out, take it out. Take it out. <laughs> Thanks for watching. I really hope you enjoyed this video. Floating down a river on a canoe is one of the things I love to do. It's got a really nice feel to it, it's quiet and um, you really get to explore a really beautiful part of the world that's quite hard to actually get to a lot of the time and fishing I find is one of those things that um, just forces you to slow down and really enjoy the place that you're at so if you haven't done it I really suggest finding a canoe somewhere and um, just pick a river and go for an explore, it's a great thing to do. And uh, last thing to say is that today I am starting my yoga teacher training. Um, the first session is this afternoon, so I am pretty excited about that and uh, slightly terrified. <laughs> oh well. Anyway, um, hope you're having a good day and I'll see you on a trail sometime soon.